Yes, yes, yes. I am a Bee Gees fanatic. Oh my gosh, how could you tell? Six reactions on them in one month? Maybe that was it. So I just love this song. I, I, as I've said before, I didn't find the Bee Gees early stuff until I was in my 20s and the late 80s. Fell in love with them. Actually liked the early stuff more than the later stuff in the late 70s and early 80s. So this a little bit of background for me on this song. I loved it in the late 80s, but I got divorced 16 years ago in the spring of 2005. And I went through a major sort of crisis for a couple of months trying to get over that. And the early Bee Gees helped get me through it. I mean, I was over and over and over listening to their early stuff. Massachusetts, I started a joke. And this one, this one I think is my favorite. I can't see nobody. The first time I heard this, of course, the song starts out hopeful and lovely. It's talking about this immersion in love and you can't see nobody. You can't see anything except the person you're in love with. And I think it may be said better in this song than any other song ever. This is a supremely well-written song. Yeah. So, and then you're like, and then all of a sudden he switches to the, they switch to the past tense in the last verse and you're like what it's over oh my god so you just have this heart throbbing loving immersion and then all of a sudden no it's gone and of course me having been recently divorced that was exactly what it was remembering that immersion and then um the forlornness of the loss of course this is robin gibb you're looking at right here he's he's the lead singer on this and the bgs do their usual stupendous choral back uh, choral work on this as well but you know before i get into actually doing a reaction on this song i just want to talk i just want to say oh first let me say that there's a bunch of you who have said who have asked me to do a reaction on this song the most recent one was Lori barnes uh yesterday a new subscriber who asked me to do it she recommended this video from their concert in melbourne in 1974 seven years after they released the song in england the lads had to go back to Australia to sing this. They've been gone for like seven years, I think, or something like that. <clears throat> so, um, and I've said before that I think Robin is my favorite singer in the group. He's got this sort of almost bizarre, nasal, emotional, vulnerable delivery. When I say bizarre, I mean that in a good way. And it just reaches down and grabs your soul. So anyway, the lyrics on this are stupendous. I just want to read the first two major stanzas and, and talk about how they describe, he and Barry describe the immersion into love. I walk the lonely streets, streets. I watch the people passing by. I used to smile and say hello. Guess I was just a happy guy. Then you happened, girl. This feeling that possesses me. I just can't move myself. I guess it all just had to be. <clears throat> I can't see nobody. No, I can't see nobody. My eyes can only look at you. Lovely. I used to have a brain. <laughs> now that's love for you right there. I used to have a brain. <laughs> I don't have it anymore. I'm just in love. That's all I can think about. That's all I can feel. Love that. It reminds me of uh, uh, Wizard of Oz. Okay, I used to have a brain. I used to think of many things. I watched the falling rain and listened to the sweet birds sing. Used to do all that. Don't ask me why, little girl. I love you, and that's all I can say. You're every breath that I take. You are my nights, my night and day. And then, of course, it switches into the past tense. You've got the chorus going on, then the past tense. Every single word you hear is coming from this heart of mine. So, you, Well, it's still present tense. I never felt like this before. A love like yours, so young and fine. <clears throat> so we're still good. I mean, my God, you're just, oh my God, sweeping over it, over you. And nobody, I think nobody writes love like the Bee Gees write love. Excuse me. But now, and now as I try to forget you, it's like when I first heard this song, what a thump. I was like, oh my, what? What? It's over? You don't have that anymore? It doesn't work out anyway. I loved you such a long time ago. It's coming from this heart of mine. I mean, I'm sorry, but in my eyes, you'll always be. Every single word you hear is coming from this heart of mine. I loved you such a long time ago. Don't know why, and I don't know why, baby. Oh, my God. Okay. So, yeah. So, in the end, it's a sad song. It's a reflection song, but I don't care. I mean, it's just such a gorgeous song. So, let's jump in. And watch the stupendous Robin 
seeing I Can't See Nobody. And then, of course, uh, Barry and Maurice coming in with their vocals, and they always do great instruments as well. This is going to be not very good, obviously, on the quality of the video, but who cares? So here we go with the boys. <laughs> I just want to say real quick, I love that violin on this. What a great beginning. A violin is the love instrument, as far as I'm concerned. The violin and the sax. I watch the people I see by me. I used to smile and say hello. I guess that I'm just a happy guy. I love what he's doing with his hand sweeping with the music, sweeping with his emotions. I love how he does a staccato thing with his voice. I'll back it up here, but how he does it, it almost like he cuts the words short. I was a happy guy, you know? Let's listen to that again. And the violin is just gorgeous. I used to smile and say hello. I guess that I'm just a happy guy. Before they kick in here, I just want to say I really love Robin's face. He has such a vulnerable, expressive face, and it really adds to the music. So here we go. Bring it on. I mean, I love the energy in this song as well. I can't see no. Barry's voice really dominated right there, a little bit more than in the actual original. You. I used to have a brain. I used to think of many things. I bought the ball and listened to the sweet bird sing. What's going on there? Something happened, is happening over to his right, and he's actually smiling. I don't think I've ever seen that happen with Robin in a concert. Let's back that up and watch that. Something is going on to his right. Fans. Love that guy. that again.
look at that appreciative audience. Wow, that actually, when he went into that long uh, vibrato, actually kind of brought tears to my eyes. Um, I just love Robin's face also. This was so moving. I think it was actually even more moving than the original on the album. And I think part of it is the nuances that Robin puts into it with his voice, especially that elongated uh, sequence that was in there. I wasn't real crazy about Barry overtaking the vocals a little bit. Um, but by that time, he was starting to take a little bit more dominance in the group. But still, it was great. I mean, it was just a, a little bit, tiny bit annoying. I wanted to hear Robin and Maurice. I wanted to hear more of the triplet on that. That's the only, only minor problem I have with this. This was so emotional. I love I love on this how they, of course, the Bee Gees a lot of times included orchestration in their songs, which I love about them. The Bee Gees are a love group. I mean, that's that's what they are. They are a love group. They're about love, either in love, talking about love, or out of love and reflecting on love. And that's, they maybe, I think maybe they do it better than any group of all time, really. I mean, they, they're such sweet lads, sweet guys. Uh, nice guys, happy guys, fun guys, pranky guys. They're just real guys who are enjoying their lives and it comes through in their music. And this, this I think for me, this, the, this song is so terrific and emotional because first of all, with the words, I can't see nobody. I love the double negative on that driving home the point, I can't see nobody, nobody, I can't see nobody, I can't see anything. The, the whole world has now gone away, and we've all been there. You fall in love, and the whole world is that person you're in love with. The way they say that, you know, I don't have a brain, is what was it? I can't, I used to have a brain, <laughs> but the way, the way they orchestrate the words are, is brilliant on this. It's simple and brilliant. And then the the violin coming in. And I love the energy on this. This is another thing about the Bee Gees. When they do love songs, the love songs aren't syrupy and sappy. They actually have, a, they put a bunch of orchestration and energy into it. This one's got great drum work on it. It's got good, good to great guitar work by Barry and Maurice. And this, and then, of course, they're one of the best uh, vocal groups, choral groups of all time. So, I mean, when you put all of those things together, great writing, great instrumentation and orchestration, great emotional delivery, great vocals. When you put all that together, you have, well, greatness. <laughs> but this is, this is arguably probably my favorite song by the Bee Gees. I, I do think I listen to this one more than any other song. There's another one that I listened to second. And I'm not gonna say which one it is because I haven't done a reaction on it yet, but I'll let you know when I listen to it. But anyway, this was phenomenal. I love, I love Robin's face. I just love this guy's face when he sings. I mean, I try, I try to think of somebody else who affects me visually like this. Maybe, maybe Garfunkel with Simon and Garfunkel, but no, not nearly as much. Um, but, but Robin is just a sweet soul. <laughs> and I know I've said that before. I, I'm going to over say it. He just is. And it comes through in his vocal, in his vocals and his uh, stage performance. Anyway, terrific. Thank you to Lori and everybody else, about a half a dozen of you who demanded that I, that I do a reaction on this. And I was going to get around to it. So I really look forward to y'all's comments. Um, please leave them and I will read them and possibly react to your comments as well. So Catch you soon on the backside. Take care of yourselves. Bye now.